Okay, so I thought this would be fun. Um, I have recently started two new YouTube channels. This one, the Miss MMM. I know people don't get that. They're Miss MMM, whatever. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Um, it is literally linked to my Facebook and Twitter that uh, some people know me from real life from Tim Bus stuff. But, um, I have also recently made two new channels. Oh, I also have a blog with that name. It's MissMM.com. My new channels uh, are Moonshine Gaming Apocalypse. Yeah, with me and my boyfriend. And, um, and then I have Too Hot for the DSM, which is just mine. And that's about dealing with Asperger's and autism. But... I kind of want to update you on what's going on with my channel in particular. I know I don't have a ton of followers. I um I started this yeah, I'm a little buzzed. I started this channel, I think it says I started in 2009 or 2010. At that time, if you were not trying to be like a YouTube star, which wasn't really a thing then, or you didn't have like a bunch of cats. Um YouTube basically could put stuff on their, for their own family. So if you will look back, my first few videos are like me and my now deceased dogs that I love so much. And since then I did a lot of different like movie uh, type movie reviews and previews and stuff because I have a blog, MissEmmaMM.com. And it is still up, but I don't update it as frequently as I used to. It's just... It's not really the way that media is going that's making me go like this. It's not like I'm like, oh, I mean, I know print, me print media is on its way out, but it's not really about that. It's more about the fact that I, as a person, do not read as much as I used to. So I do watch a lot more videos. And when I do read, it's more like blogs and extra long tweets and stuff like that. I do not read as many books as I used to. It, I mean, in my opinion, it's kind of sad. It's someone, um, you know, in their early 30s who learned how to write through reading a lot of books from the library and then typing on a typewriter. So this is incredibly personal. But the point is, I do want to update this particular channel, the Miss MMM doc. Well, there's no .com on the channel, but the Miss MMM a lot more. I know I don't have that many subscribers. I do appreciate anyone who subscribed to my channel over the years. If you subscribe for animal or movie stuff or Netflix movie stuff, and I do want to let you know, or um, I have went to con some conventions, particularly Wizard World, and reviewed a lot of those. I do plan in the future to do a lot more movie reviews. In particular, um, what's available on streaming, Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, movies or original series that you might not see if you just have regular cable. I don't use regular cable even more, like, anymore uh, for years now. So that's not really a concern of mine. I think a lot of people who are millennials, I'm not. I, I would place myself in the age just above them. But um, anybody who, you know, is media and money savvy knows that's a huge expense you don't need to pay with all the services that are now offered. So I just want to let you know, my blog, MissMMM.com, is not dying. Um, as soon as I can, I pay to keep up the fees each month. I'm going through a rough patch right now. I'm trying to work on a lot of things in my own life that do not have anything to do with this. And when I had a lot, a lot less things going on in my personal life and professional life and a lot more things going on in my internet life, I was able to update my, my blog a lot more like three to six times a week and now I'm doing it like every month or less which is bad and my boyfriend is helping me we're uh, you know very firmly committed so you know I wouldn't let another boyfriend do that and my little sister has helped in the past too she's great she she knows what she's talking about media wise the point is MissMMM.com will continue to focus on those issues that we love it will continue to be a pop culture vlog. 
uh, jamesdean.com has called it hipster vlog. And at first I was like, because mm, hipster wasn't popular. But now I'm like, yeah, because at a point hipster got kind of popular. It just means what's popular at the time, which I'm fine with. And um, it kind of reminds me, you know, the show that, oh, God. I don't know what they I can't remember the English right now. Portlandia. So it kind of reminds me of Portlandia. You know what I mean? Like, what's popular right now. But in general, I would say I've had my my particular blog for a number of years. And if I didn't care about it, I would have let it die a long time ago. I would have moved it to a free site. I paid to have my blog up. Currently, I do not have the time or effort to put into it to make any type of revenue. When I have made revenue in the past, it was a small amount of money. And, you know, in the future, if I have the time or commitment to put into it, it will make more revenue. But at this time, I'm more concerned about doing what I feel creatively. That's very important to me. So, you can always think, even if in the future I'd have some big advertiser, which I don't know who that would be, but I know in the past I had uh, makeup and food advertisers who were well known. I wasn't paid a ton of money, but it was stuff I liked and, and alcohol, and I figured why not promote that. So I did. I got paid, you know, the X amount of money. But the point is, stay tuned to MissMMM.com and the Miss MMM vlog channel and anywhere else I am I'm on Instagram I'm on Twitter I'm on Tumblr I have been on Vine and I will probably be on there again uh, any new media outlets you hear about if I like them I may be on them I want snapchat snapchat but that's just for me um as the point is I do want to be around the point is, when we, when, I don't want to say when I started the interview, the internet, I'm not at war. But when the internet came about, it was a matter of free express, free express, oh my god, okay, I'm a little buzz. But free expression, what nerds wanted, you know, geeks, whatever. And I came up in the 90s on the internet. You know, I was a preteen slash teen, my parents got the internet. For myself and my sister, they didn't even use it because they were older. I had people in my class in the 90s who were like, yeah, we have the internet in our house, we're not going to use it. I would say they have a different view, but everybody now has smartphones. Anyway, the point is, I am not just here to make money. Let's say I had a huge YouTube channel take off tomorrow. Or a huge Tumblr, or, or a huge vlog, or a huge blog that was not this one. For me, right here, this is all about self-expression. I have never been one to be able to compartmentalize things so much. If I had to compartmentalize everything that was interesting to me, not just things that happen to me, the things that interest me, I would have so many blogs. You know, five years ago, I would have had food, movies, TV, beauty. I mean, the list can go on and on. Conventions. Uh, you know, vlogs, literally things that happen to me. Asperger's, autism spectrum disorder, which is me. You know, something that affects me. Uh, being bullied in high school, things that affect me or in my adult life. But I just want to let you know, I know there are times in the past I was trying to do things. I was trying to do a movie thing with my boyfriend early this year. We are still together, by the way. That's a big question I have a lot of the time. We have no intentions of ever breaking up. And I know that sounds very, you know, maybe it sounds far-fetched because of, like, divorce rates and stuff, but we're not married. But if we were, it wouldn't be like, hey, we're going to get married until we get divorced. You know what I mean? It's like a set thing. So the point is, I plan to be around for a long time. If you like anything about what I do, please subscribe. Please like. Please favor, depending on the medium. Please share with your friends. I, and at points, my boyfriend, he doesn't like all the same stuff as me, but he likes different stuff than me also. We will be around. This is the Miss MMM YouTube. I also have the Miss MMM.com, my blog, my main blog that I pay for. Um, Miss MMM.tumblr.com. I also have other tumblers, but I haven't kept those up. 
Miss M and M Instagram and Twitter, and I am on Facebook. The Facebook page for this is the Miss M M dot com. It might not particularly be that, but if you look up Miss M M M, it will autofill for you. The point is, I'm gonna be around. No matter what's going on in my life, I have always paid to keep up my online presence because for me. I started working online over 20 years ago. It is 2016, and my family got the internet a little bit before, I would say either into, like, before 2016, probably 94, 95. And back then, it was not get, not a given. It was not now when I, not to be rude, but I know kids get smartphones when they're born. I didn't get a smartphone until a few years ago. I held out because I was like, I don't need that. I can use my computer. The point is, look, I will be here. I will be around. I will be expanding. And anything you've liked previously will eventually still come around. I still love fashion. Right now, I just can't afford it. But I do want to do more fashion vlogs and tips and sales, which I think is most important because even if I can't afford something, why can't you? I love the Mindy Project. I love websites like Hot Look and Golden Tote who offer designer clothes or designer inspired clothes at a good price. Um, I love movies. It doesn't, back in the day, if you were not a reviewer, I as a reviewer I have got things, DVDs in the mail. I have got links to movies. But nowadays, even if a movie is not available, People stream it off the internet illegally. I'm not going to condone that just because it's illegal. I'm not going to see my stance on it. But you can run it usually or buy it ahead of time for the release date. And you can review it yourself. Get started like that. I know there are people who have done that. Um, this is not like a pitch for anybody I know on Twitter or Facebook. But I have so many friends on Twitter and Facebook who are movie aficionados, who are reviewers, who have done everything, reviewing, writing, directing, producing, everything. Uh, Kickstarter. I have donated to Kickstarters. I have produced, you know, semi-produced in the way that I've donated a little money. I have supposed to have been an extra or speaking part, but due to circumstantial stuff that was happening in my life, I couldn't do it. Now, in the future, I just want to let you know there's other things going to be going on with me. I am a writer. I know it may not seem like it, but first and foremost, as soon as I learned how to read, I wanted to write. So, my parents taught me how to read when I was four years old. They took me to a local library. They had all these books for me. And the books in my house, I would stay at the library for hours and read these books. And they gave me a typewriter, an old typewriter, you know. I was born in uh, the early 80s, so in the late, mid to late 80s, they gave me, you know, an old typewriter that worked very well, and they replaced the ink and all that stuff, and I was, I was typing stories as soon as I was reading them. So I am a writer. It may not seem like the, personally, most of the time I prefer fiction. Sometimes I love nonfiction, like biographies, history, stuff like that, but I will always consider myself a writer, even if, like right now, I have to take time off from writing and make everything videos. Because there are a lot of things going on in my life, and to put them down in words, I feel is more stressful than videos. I, um, I went to college. I took a lot of, you know, mandatory um, speech classes, how to give a presentation, things like that. I did an internship at Disney World, which teaches you how to speak your mind. I have multiple YouTube channels. I've had many boyfriends at that time. I've had more friends. I've been so lucky to have. And in that time, I've been able to make my voice. So right now, I find it a lot more comfortable to think things out in advance, speak about them, whether or not I have a a piece of paper next to me or nothing and I just want to get my stuff out there and I think that's important for anybody so I just want to let you know I don't care if you're 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 105, I don't care. Um, if you're 145, I'll contact Guinness probably but 
get your opinions and thoughts out there. Make your own YouTube channel. Make your own vlog or blog or some kind of thing on the internet because somebody out there is rooting for you. Somebody out there knows what you're going through. I recently made, like I said, my channel Too Hot for the DSM. And it is about autism and Asperger's and being on the spectrum. I'm PDDNOS officially. And um, you might not see that as much. They tell you you're high functioning. They say everything's going to be okay. But no matter what you deal with in life, it doesn't matter if you work at Disney World or a fast food restaurant or just hanging out with your friends or dealing with your family, it's not the same as everybody thinks it is. Maybe you have a different disability or a different um, obstacle or just something in your life that prevents you that you feel in the way from regular people. Maybe you're a millennial, not to put you down, but you guys kind of have it a little bit different than us. We were always expected, when I came up, I grew, I was born in the 80s, I came up in the 90s with the HIV scare and everything. We were expected to defend ourselves at all costs. And we, when we got put down, some people went out. I did that as a child. Some people pulled in. Either way, you were expected to act a certain way. I know now millennials, and I do not agree with myself with that, no offense guys, but you are expected to stand up for everything you believe in. I have one word of advice. This video is not about advice. It's just a catch-up video, but if you are a millennial, if I would say you are under the age of 25, maybe 22, 23, because I know somebody who's 24, and I wouldn't really... Not really, maybe a little consider him a millennial, but you might expect too much. It, if it's a partner, if it's a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a friend, an asexual friend, however you want to classify yourself, that's one thing. Don't let them put you down. I did that when I was younger to guys because I uh, identify as heterosexual or bi curious. Um, but as a job, nobody cares what your sexual orientation or uh, I know sexual orientation is how you feel about how you want to fuck people and stuff. How you feel, I don't know, I might be getting this wrong, whatever, like I said, I'm old school. Um, how you gender identify, whatever the word is. You don't need to tell people that. Just dress as the sex that you are given. This is my one word of advice. Um, go into the interview, say you want it I know I'm getting off course, but I'm trying to get a job right now. And I actually had a job offer and a job already, but I didn't want it. And you have to learn what you're willing to want and what you're willing to put up with. And don't go into a job with what you're with less than what you're willing to put up with. But at the same time, if it's if it's a job where it doesn't matter if they think you're a guy or a girl, then do whatever. If you look like a girl, if you were born a girl, if you still have all your girl parts, if you look like a boy, if you were born like a boy, if you still have all your boy parts, probably nobody cares if you want to fuck the same or the opposite sex. Nobody cares if you're asexual. Nobody cares if your hair is short or long. Probably they don't even care if your hair is dyed, depending on where you are. Yes, if you're in, you know, a theme park, like I wanted to work in, or a specific type of office, they might want your hair a specific way, but maybe if it's fast food or retail or even a, or a call center, they probably don't care. So just be professional. I'm sorry this got really long-winded, but the point is, this is an update. Um, I am still with my boyfriend. I know I mentioned that in the beginning, but um, he's just at work. I, I have another interview tomorrow. I gave up the last job because it was not for me. And I'm going back to school. But anyways, that's a completely different video. The point is, I am Miss MMM. Miss Emma MM. Not Miss Amiam. Not Emma. But Emma's fine. Uh, Miss Amiam or Miss... It doesn't work out. Anyway, Robin Givens was Mary Miracle. My full name. In an episode of uh, The Renewed Nikita. And I'm fine with that. The point is, I love you guys. I appreciate uh, anybody who's been a subscriber for months, years, days. I know I have a few of them. It's not a huge subscription, but I do I do intend to improve that. I am actually gaining leaps and bounds on my autism channel, and I understand why. Because when I was going through that, I needed that. Again, that is 
T-O-O-H-O-T-D-S-M. Too hot uh, for the ASM. So uh, that's the diagnostic manual manual of uh, mental disorders. Which Let's not even go there. But the point is, I love you guys. I think you guys sign up. Personal life, adventures. I love to travel. I can't travel all the time because of monetary problems. But I travel at least once or more a year. I try to make it a lot more than once a year. I love you guys. I also love beauty. I really love movies. I like music. Uh, so many things. Unboxings, yes. Uh, haul videos, mainly. We redo, me and my boyfriend doing pops and nerd videos like, you know, Marvel Collector Corpse, etc. But if you can take my personality, if you like it, I don't think I'm that bad. Subscribe. See what you like. If you don't like it, unsubscribe. Why not? The point is, I love you guys. Thank you for checking this out. And I hope you continue to have a great part of your weekend and or week doing whenever you read, view this.